What books were removed from the Bible, and why? Where might I find them? Let's take a little journey back in time. The Bible, as many people know it today, is sort of like the greatest hits album of early Christian texts. However, just like any music album where some tracks didn't make the cut, the Bible has a collection of books that were left on the historical recording studio floor. These texts are typically known as the Apocrypha in Protestant circles, or deuterocanonical books in Catholic and Orthodox traditions. They were essentially removed or excluded during what's known as the canonization of the Bible, a process in which church figures debated which texts reflected true teaching and were inspired. This process was by no means simple or unanimous, and it stretched over several centuries. Different Christian traditions recognize different books, hence why the Catholic Bible includes some that the Protestant one doesn't, and the Eastern Orthodox has a few more. Some of the books that didn't make it into the Protestant Bible include Tobit, Judith, 1 and 2 Maccabees, Wisdom of Solomon, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, and Baruch. The reasons for their exclusion vary, including theological contentions, doubts about authorship, and whether they were considered to have been written under divine inspiration. Now where might you find these literary B-sides? One of the simplest ways is to pick up a Catholic Bible. They incorporate most of these books into their Old Testament. For a broader collection, you could seek out a copy of the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible that includes these books. There's also a publication called the Apocrypha, which encompasses these texts. In modern times, you're not limited to print, of course. You can easily find these books online with a quick search. Websites like BibleGateway.com provide access to various versions of the Bible, including ones with the apocryphal deuterocanonical books. Exploring these texts is kind of like realizing your favorite album had additional tracks overseas. You get a richer, deeper perspective on the familiar, they're a reminder that religious texts have complex histories, and what we read today has been shaped by countless individuals' decisions over the millenniums. Whether you're reading from Portland, Oregon, or anywhere else in the world, these books can offer new insights and understanding of the biblical world. And hey, if you're ever in Portland, you might want to check out Powell's City of Books. They have a pretty extensive religion section where you just might find a copy of these intriguing texts to peruse.